Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So let's move on to making the gift as part of the advent calendar. So the gift is actually a two-sided project. So there's actually two panels. So this is one and I have to do the second on camera with you. And then it's lightly stuffed here to provide a three-dimensional. They're put together and then the bow. What I'm gonna suggest to you here is that I recommend doing the one panel, doing them both each at the same time, but do not put them together and just put the bow on one side first and before putting it together to sew because you have to attach this anyway and it's easier to hide in the loose ends if it's just working with one panel instead of working with it already pre-stuffed. So that's just a choice and again you can make different colors of gifts if you would like to. So let's get started on making this. It's a five millimeter size H crochet hook today and your Karen Simply Soft yarn. So let's begin today. We're going to start with your main color that you've ch uh, chosen for yourself and you're going to chain a total of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now going second chain for the hook, just count it back. So one and two, go to the back loop only and just single crochet yourself across the chain. So you have to do two of these decorations for the advent calendar. You can do many more if you would like to. Make them as decorations on a Christmas tree and etc. Um, it's kind of a lot of fun. So I'd recommend doing all your panels first. So you can do up to four at the same time. Get them done and then you can move on to the rest of the process. It's easier to, it, to work as an assembly line. It's like making a car. Like one person doesn't actually make a car. It's, it goes through a lot of people in order to get from start to finish. So once you get all the way down to the end, you're just single crocheting. Turn your work and then you start each row the same. So chain up one, one single crochet into each going all the way across. Get to the end, turn your work, one single crochet in each. So you want to get a total height of two and uh, a quarter uh, for height. And then what I would do is that just do one and then just lay the other one over top just to make sure that you do get the right amount of rows as well. So just do one, measure it out and then just do the others and just uh, lightly put it over top. So I'll see at the end when it's two and a half quarters tall just like so. So just a few moments ago I left you and I just finished the rows. So I took the other one, measured up against it because I'd already finished that one. But if you're doing it for the first time, just take your measurement or just eye it up and make it look like a square. As long as they're the same, doesn't matter, right? So as long as it fits into the pocket, you're good to go. So we're going to take the loose ends here and we're going to get rid of them right away and just slide them in to the work just underneath the stitch work. Okay, so don't impede on the edge because you'll see that if you do that and just lightly pull through and then go back in the other direction. Lightly pull through and then back in the other direction again. Third time. So this is how you get rid of your loose ends. I want you to do that with the starting one as well. So right where you started, do that one as well and then I'll be back and then we'll start working on the bow together. So as we go to start working on the bow, it's made up of two pieces. So we have a ribbon here. So if you look at it, peel it back, you can see that the bow is completely different. And then we have the bow area with yarn that's wrapped around to make it look like a bow tie. So it's actually pretty easy. It's just a two stepper and then we're gonna sew that directly down to the panel. And again, I would sew it directly to the panel before attaching it to the other side just to get rid of the loose ends a lot easier than being able to do it when it's pre-stuffed. It's up to you, your call. So let's do the ribbon first and then we'll move on to the bow tie. So we're gonna move on to the ribbon first and we're just gonna create a slip knot, just one line across. So we're going to uh, just chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Second chain from the hook, just single crochet yourself all the way back and then you're done. 
So that's how easy this is and we wanna weave in your ends like I just showed you. So weave those in and then we're going to attach this to the gift. Not right away, we're gonna do our bow first so we can get our positioning and then we'll attach them both at the same time. So just weave in your ends and have this. You're gonna notice that this is a straight line. Um, just because it's a straight line doesn't mean you can't sew it down to be a, an angle just like it is on the original, right? So it's your creativity. You can do what makes sense for you. So now you're all the way back. So the, just trim your work and then use your drowning needles and hide in your loose ends. I'll see you in just a moment. We'll start the bow next. So now I have my ribbon complete. I'm gonna move on to the bow next. So we're going to create a slip knot to begin and we are going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now it says third chain from the hook and want you to half double crochet. So continue. So one, two, three, go third back loop only and half double crochet and then continue to half double crochet down the, the row. The bow is really quite easy. It's just a couple, couple rows really. So you're gonna go all the way down to the end and then that's it. So turn your work and just do the last row. So chain two does not count as a half double crochet. So you're gonna half double crochet into the same one and then all the way across. And then you're gonna fasten off your, your, um, your project. So what I want you to do is fasten off. Okay, you're not quite done with it yet but I want you to get rid of your loose ends first. So just weave those in and then when I come back I'll have that done and then we'll just pinch it off together to make the bow. So just finish this off and weave in your ends. So what I want you to do is that we're going to pinch off the bow. I'd create an extra, I'd create a slip knot first but create an extra long tail just here. So create the slip knot first just like this and then what I want you to do is just create an extra long tail here and I want you to insert this strand through the slip knot and then just pull. So I'm going to get it so that it's gonna be lined up with that other project first. So as I'm pulling in, I want to be able to put this in. So it's like, just put it in the middle and just pull tight. So that slip knot works in the sense of keeping everything nice and tight and just keep pulling until you can't pull no more. Okay, and just readjust. Okay, so now with the yarn strand, so this is where we started, so leave that tail side and then I want you to just wrap several times with the existing longer one of the two. And this is creating that, the bow tie in the center. And then when you think it's enough, I want you just to stop and put this into a darning needle. Okay. So then it's in the darning needle so I'm gonna come around one more time and I'm just gonna turn it to what I believe is the back so you can determine what that, that is for you and I want to just go in the work itself and get it stuck in some fibers here in the back. There you go. So then I'm just gonna come around in the back section here just a couple times just to keep it there. Okay, so that's what it looks like for now. So now I want to take the both strands here because the one is attached to a slip knot and just cut it so that both the strands are now the same length. So you'll notice that both strands are coming out on the back side of the bow and then here's your ribbon. So what I want you to do is using both strands here, I want you to grab one of the panels. Just put this in the darning needle first and grab one of the panels and position it in. So what you believe is the right place to be. So and then just go through the work. Just make sure you go actually through some fibers. It's just easier than a gap. And then you can position it and turn it down on its side. And so come back out of the project and through the bow onto the other side. So it keeps it on an angle looking like that. So now what about the ribbon? So this time when you come back through, so come back through the front. Put 
put the ribbon on. Okay, and then just make sure it stays underneath the, the bow. And then back down through the ribbon. Now if you wanna tilt them down so that the, the, the ribbon is facing down, just kinda of push them down and then just come back up through and then back down. So just kinda of tacking them into position and then come to the other side and do the same thing. So up and down so it's on an angle. And now what I would do just as one last thing just come up through the middle again and then back down through the front top of the bow and that will pull it together to make it look like it's one unit. See? And then neat. Okay, so now that on here on the back and this is why I had to do it, I want you to secure it in the back. So I'm just doing a quick tie and then back and forth underneath the stitch work but not to the front side of the project. Just get it in there. So now what I'm gonna do, now that my bow is in, okay, it's pretty much stuck there so I can't even position it even if I wanted to. So then I'm gonna take the other one and I can lightly stuff it if you wish or if you don't wanna stuff it, just put them together and just sew around the outside of them and we'll uh, cover that in just a moment. So let's put them together and we're just gonna create a slip knot to begin. And then I'm gonna put the other side of it into a darning needle. And with the right sides facing outward, okay, so then it does, like, so the bow is facing out, so don't put the bow on the inside. Just start down on the one side of a corner going right through both panels. And then when you get closer, just pull the slip knot up and put it through the slip knot and it locks it and then tuck the tail underneath the project in behind. So it gets stuck inside the project. So now all I'm just gonna do is whip stitch. So you just go along the edge and just put things together. So I'm just gonna trace the edge So you can lightly stuff it if you wish, kind of looks better. But uh, some people don't like to stuff if they don't have to. So um, it still provides that nice thick look to it. It's just not as stuffed as a regular present would be. So when you get to a corner, just turn your corners as you normally would. And just go all the way around. So when I come back, I'll have this around and then I'll just show you how to fasten that off and then we'll cover the loop uh, to being able to finish this so you can hang it from your tree. So as I'm coming all the way around, I've just got the final side and all I'm gonna do if you wanna stuff it is now you just put a little bit of stuffing. Don't go crazy with it because you don't wanna make it bleed any stuffing. And then once you have that done, then you can just simply just go across the, the final edge and put it into, and put it into place. So once you have this all the way back to where you started, just go in and out of the work a total of three times. So I turned it over to the back of the present. So just go in the work once. Go back in the work twice. Go back in the work three times. Just like that. So now all I want you to do is just trim your work. And now we have to create the handle that goes and hangs this from the actual tree itself. So you just gotta reshape a little bit and just uh, get that stuffing down. And now we're gonna create the handle to create it up. So let's begin to do that next. So let's do the handle. Let's create an extra long tail here. And this is the loop that we're gonna hang from and that we want to chain nine. So we've been doing this all along. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you have nine, leave an extra long tail. And then just pull through the loop. And then just pull on it snug on both sides and then fold it in half. And just follow the strings until they get to the both of the same distance. And if not, just make them the same distance. So make sure it's folded in half directly on this side. So now we're gonna put this into a darning needle, both of the strands. 
and now we're gonna hang the present. So I'm gonna hang it from this edge. So I'm gonna go through the corner and I'm gonna pull it to the loop comes through and then I'm gonna pop it through the loop and pull snug and then go back down into the project and then pull through the loop one more time. So coming from the back to the forward and then coming through again. So go through total twice and there is your loop and now just turn it over to the back and go through your project three times in order to secure in the loose ends. So one, two and three. So this is how you create the gift. Pretty easy. You have your hanging loop so you can hang it from a tree. You got your bow and it's pretty awesome. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Yarn Inspirations. Stay tuned. We have more Advent Calendar coming ahead.